morning. It is Tuesday, September 15th. Welcome back. This is day two of our daily announcements. It's Mr. Spadero, and we're going to be joined by Mrs. Overmeyer for the Pledge of Allegiance. So stay tuned for that. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Awesome. Thank you, Ms. Overmeyer. All right, guys, so this is day two of our daily announcements. We'll be putting out these videos every day while we're in our remote learning format um, to keep you guys updated about everything that's happening in and around uh, the district and at our building. So just a reminder, it is a B week for specials, so check with your teachers. They should be communicating with you about exactly what that means and which specials teacher you'll be working with this week. Um, just a reminder that we have two days of, of pickup for food for breakfast and lunch, Mondays and Wednesdays. You'll be able to get breakfast and lunch on both of those days. You do not need to bring your students. Um, come to any of the locations in the district and let them know uh, who your students are that you're picking up your lunches and breakfast for. Um, just another reminder that school starts every day at nine o'clock, just like it would if we were here at the building. Um, all of our teachers are gonna be doing what's called a morning meeting every day at 9 a.m. So it's very, very critical and very, very important that your students are logged in probably before 9 a.m. so that they are ready to go at nine o'clock with their classroom teacher. And if you're having any issues with schedules, we encourage you to please reach out to your teachers via Class Dojo um, and chat with them that way or whatever the preferred method is um, for your classroom teacher. But most of them um, are, are all using Dojo kind of as their primary contact. Um, the, the other thing to go along with that that we've talked about uh, many times in our family forums and Ms. Green has talked about in the announcements too is that expectations for online learning are very different in the fall right now than they were in the spring. The biggest difference being students have to log in to their live sessions every day and that's multiple sessions for most students. Um, on top of that, students are expected to be completing and turning in their work, okay? So if one of those things is lacking for whatever reason, um, make sure you're in communication with your teachers. You may be getting a phone call from your teacher just to see what's up, see how they can help you, um, see what's going on and just kind of remind you of the expectations, much like we would here at school. Um, and if they're not logging in, if we don't see any activity or we don't see them turning in work, you may be getting a phone call from Miss Green or I just to check in to see what we can do to help, you know, see if they're scheduling issues, so on and uh, so forth. So another big reminder, guys, is to understand that the Chromebooks that we give you are school issued devices. OK, and that means that we can see literally everything that you guys do. We can see every website you go to. We can we can see what time you go to see them. We can see what things you search in Google. We can see who you're chatting with. So please guys, be safe. These are devices to be used for, for learning. Uh, we understand you wanna play games and do things like that on them, which you're more than welcome to, but please remember to be safe. Those are an extension of part of our building, okay, and our district, all right? If you haven't already had the chance, um, we are doing a lot of assessment in our building right now. And one of those big assessments we have to get done in the next uh, week is called the MAP assessment. And that's a state assessment that all of our students in the district are taking K through, um, I believe K through 12. Um, and so what's really, really important about that is that students need to be left on their own to take these assessments. No, no matter how difficult they might seem, it's very challenging sometimes as a parent to uh, watch your students struggle through things, which oftentimes they may with these MAP tests, but it's very important that we don't steal their struggle and we let them work through that because these tests give us a baseline to tell us where our kids at, what they know, what they don't know. And that helps us as teachers and as educators to figure out where to start teaching them. We don't wanna teach them things they already know, okay? Um, but we also don't wanna start teaching way up here when we're down here and we need to fill in those gaps. So it's really important data for us. Um, we encourage you to, to let your students work through those no matter how difficult they can be. Um, also understand there's been some challenges with the, with the internet and with the map on the Chromebooks, and we are working through that. Our district tech team has been doing a great job. So uh, bear with us, we will get through this, I promise you. Um, which leads me to my next point. If you haven't already heard the news, we will be coming back, uh, those of you who are not part of our Cruiser Digital Academy, will be coming back to a hybrid model on October 19th, following that A and B schedule. So stay tuned for more info. Um, about that, um, but we just wanna keep keep that in mind, start planning for that. Um, A group kids will be here Monday and Tuesday, 
everybody will be out of the building on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday our B group students will be attending. So stay tuned. We'll have um, all kinds of information coming out for that as we get closer to those dates. All right, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, we do not have any birthdays. Um, we do have some birthdays coming up, but none specifically today. So um, with that, I want to leave you with a thought for the day. And uh, this comes back to our building uh, acronym and saying you, you hear about being the best you and, and the Dunlow best. And that acronym actually stands for something that B-E-S-T. And it might be very new to some of you and it might be something that a lot of you already know. Um, so here's what I want you to be thinking about today. What does being the best you mean to you? Okay, check out this video that we're going to have linked here at the end of uh, at the end of this video to, to check that out and be thinking about what does being the best you mean to you as a student. All right, guys, have a great Tuesday and you'll see me back on Thursday. Bye.